Hey you guys, CC back with another video and today's video is going to be a La Mer powder review and wear test. first time watching make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button also make sure you go ahead and click the little notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you can always be notified of all of my future videos because you never want to miss a single upload you also want to make sure you're following me on Instagram at Yvette Loves Beauty and make sure you're subscribed to my family vlog channel right here on YouTube at Bradley TV so you guys I have been dying to do this video ever since I bought this powder like I'm just been really really excited about it and we're gonna do a little wear test and comparison between the La Mer powder this is called the powder it's from the insanely expensive and bougie brand La Mer and we're gonna compare it to my holy grail Laura Mercier translucent powder now, if you don't know, I bought this La Mer powder during the last Sephora sale. You guys can check out that haul right there if you have missed it. But I bought this powder then and the powder regular price is $95. Yes, you did not hear me wrong. Nine, five, 95, like five less dollars than 100, like that 95. Yeah, $95. So I bought this powder, it was on sale. And I said, you know what? I'm getting 20% off of it. Let's be bougie. Let's treat ourselves, okay? So that's what I got. But I haven't used it yet now, but I just wanna see if it is comparable to my Laura Mercier Translucent. And for those of you who know me and who've been watching me, you know that this is my holy grail under eye setting powder. I've been using it for years, probably five or six at this point, and it just never lets me down. So absolutely love this powder. Just wanna see if, not if this is good. I feel like for $95, it better be good. Like it has no choice but to be good. You know what I mean? But my question is more so, does it work better than this Laura Mercier powder, which is regular priced at $38? So, I mean, I think that's where you, you kind of see if you're getting your money's worth, which to be honest, I've said this before, I don't think any powder is worth $95, to be quite honest. I don't care what it does. Um, but <laughs> we'll see kind of how my under eye looks, how it looks throughout the day, and just if it was worth the coin that we spent, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read you some of the specs and some of the claims of the setting powder, and then we're gonna proceed and add it to the face. Okay, so let me read you some of the claims. First of all, it comes in one shade, and that is translucent, that's the one I got. I'll show you it in a minute, but it's a light as air, luxe to the touch, translucent powder that magnetically attracts to the skin for a flawless finish. It's formulated with air spun seaborne particles, some of the lightest materials on earth. The luxurious powder appears to float over the skin for an imp imperceptible finish. Visibly perfected, skin is infused with miracle broth, the healing force that flows through all of La Mer. So it doesn't have any parabens, any sulfates, or any phthalates. How you say that? Y'all put it on the screen. Y'all know what that said. It says mix, match, and perfect. The powder was designed to be used with the entire skin color collection from La Mer. Of course, they want you to spend all your little coin. Um, legendary skincare benefits meet soft color and miracle broth for endless possibilities. So that's what it says. I mean, that don't really tell me too much. It tells me it's supposed to be super lightweight. It tells me it's supposed to, to really not, like, not sink into any of your fine lines if you have any underneath your eyes. And, um that is basically supposed to give you a flawless finish. So we'll be the judge of that, okay? All right, um, yeah, that's all it says on Sephora's website. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little so you can really get all up in my under eye area. All right, so here we are, super close, y'all, all up in my grill, okay? I've already done my foundation, obviously. If you guys have been watching, y'all already know what foundation I'm using. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Y'all know this is like a holy girl status at this point. But anyway, let's go ahead. I have on no concealer underneath the eyes and no setting powder. So we're gonna start with concealer. The one I've been kind of obsessed over lately is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear more than concealer and so I really love this one this one's in the shade child it don't even say 
I don't know. I don't see the shade, but I'll put it, um, make sure I put it down below in the description box for you guys. All right, y'all, so for some reason, my audio started to act crazy again. So I went ahead and recorded a little voiceover for you. I'm just concealing my under eyes right here as normal using this L'Oreal concealer and blending it out with a L'Oreal blending sponge. So I'm doing that for both eyes. And then I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent powder underneath my right eye. You guys already know how much I love this powder, how amazing this powder is. I rave about it all the time. I've been using it for years, probably for five years at least and it's still a holy grail powder of mine so that's the one I'm going to use under my right eye and then we will proceed with the La Mer. and then La Mer is going to be my left eye let's just open this up here I'm going to put a little bit in the cap all right, so we put a little in the cap. You guys can see the color. It's like a vanilla shade, not super white. It's very, very, very fine. Feels like silk. Definitely more fine than the Laura Mercier. Not, and not that the Laura Mercier is not fine, but this is like really fine and silky, y'all. I feel like as I'm looking at it, I see some like shimmery particles in it. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can really tell. Okay, so it's definitely brightening. Right off the bat, I feel like it, it feels a little brighter than the Laura Mercier. Do you guys see that? It Like this eye feels a little brighter than Laura, which is nice. As long as I'm not using one of my concealers that I mis, misjudged and got too light. Okay, so there's definitely some shimmery particles, but it's not like super noticeable. I can see it because I'm looking this close, but it's not like crazy noticeable, but it's there. Y'all, I'm seriously trying to find a difference between the two and I don't see one. This side definitely feels a little softer. Like my under eye area, it, it just feels a little more smooth and silky. But as far as looking a, a little more smooth, hell, y'all tell me, cause I don't see it. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the face and then I'll be right back.
here we go. This is the final look. I just did something super simple. This is what we're working with. Again, I feel like my under eyes still look the same, okay? So I have a, I don't know, I don't have that much stuff planned today. I'm gonna take the girls out to lunch and we have to stop at the mall and take some stuff back to Sephora. And then I have to come back here and clean my house. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the day while I'm watching this under eye situation. It is 107. Can y'all see that? So it's 107 p.m. I'm going to try this on for about six or seven, maybe a little longer, maybe about yeah, maybe about seven hours, eight hours, and we'll see how we're looking underneath the eyes on both sides, Laura and LaMare. So I'll see you guys later. What's up, y'all? So I just realized it got so late. I totally forgot to update you guys on how the setting powder is looking. It is currently seven let's look at that 724 if you guys can see that so i think i put this on at 107 and so we're looking at about six hours and some change so this is what we're looking like underneath the eyes now like i said i know that the setting powder is going to be good i mean i just have a feeling it better be good it has to be good if it's 95 dollars but how does it compare to another setting powder that i call my holy grail is the real question and so let's just get up Close. Sorry, I'm trying to find good lighting because I don't have my lights on. Do you see a difference? I think is the big question. Y'all hear my kids back there? They're back there playing with Play Doh. So this side was Laura. This side was Laura Mercier, and this side was La Mer. We're just really close. To be quite honest, I don't see any differences. Oh, I'll pull my lashes off too, y'all. <laughs> but I'm really looking hard and I don't see any differences. Do not see any differences in the setting powder, y'all. Let me know what y'all see, but right now I don't see anything. I'll probably have this makeup on for maybe another hour or so, and then it's coming off. So I'll definitely come back and give you guys a final update and assessment. But as for right now, they looking the same, y'all. The exact same. Okay, y'all, this is going to be my third and final review for this powder. I'm gonna go ahead and take this makeup off. It is currently... 10:48, so it's late your girl was dedicated well my phone says 10:47, but you get the picture your girl was dedicated okay so i'm looking a mess i'm just going to show you the what is this nine hour almost 10 hour wear of this powder don't forget laura lemaire this is what i'm looking like and my final assessment Save your money, boo. Okay? Laura did the same thing as the La Mer, which I figured Laura would do the same thing as the La Mer, but, I mean, I wanted to try it out. I just wanted to do the comparison. I don't feel like, I don't know. Powders have never gotten me so excited where I felt like they walked on water, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I never felt like the powder would be $95 worth of good. Again, I don't think any makeup product is worth $95. So just keep that in mind. However, I did get it. I am going to keep it. It does a good job. If it does as good as Laura, baby, it's a winner in my book, okay? But if you already got Laura, you don't need La Mer. I am going to try to mix it with some more powders just to see if I mix it and match it with different things. Will I get a better, different, worse result? We'll see. But as for right now, I like it. Actually, I, I really love it. It looks really good. But uh, there's other powders, cheaper powders, powders that are less than half the price that do the same thing. So that's my final assessment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and review. My kids are yelling. They're not going to let me be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if you have the La Mer powder and what you think about it. I'd love to know. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.